Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're brand new. If you're brand new my name is Dogma and today we are doing the next episode of Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Daughter. If you haven't already seen the series you should go back and watch the first episode. It is a blind let's play so I'm doing this all blind so don't worry about that. And if you haven't already smash the subscribe button be most appreciated and the like button and press the bell as well so you get notified of when I upload videos with that's done. done. Let's continue with the other stuff. We have to sneak in to Lord Marsh's house. So the doctor's there. Let's go sneak. The window is firmly shut. You going this way? Yeah, done. I locked the door. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? Do I have pressing? What? What have I got press? How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh god, it's gonna take a while. Skip, yeah, just skip it. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not- I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Good job, Watson. Right, now I'm here. Skipped all that because that is just. Look, I can skip many games. Like that. Let's look at the photos. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. Let's see how hard to crack this safe is. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. Oh, well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor, I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. What is going on? Is there so many cutscenes or something? Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? Wait, have I actually got to hide now or something? You've been caught. What? Ah, oh, this is why I don't... Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. I've actually got to hide now, or something. Bloody hell. Window, window, window. Oh! Stuck on the blue chair! Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? I got caught on the blue chair! I thought that. So I have to go now, I got caught on the blue chair. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. That time's the charm. If it's like a mini game, so I'm going to skip it. But this is. I have to do this actually. We got stuck on the chair. That's unfair. I don't think paying back up either.
Something is so important here. Dear Lord Marsh, Thanks to the special education program, my life has been changed completely. I didn't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. Anything else is here? Could be interesting. Hello? I can't move that one, but I can't move anything else. Another letter. That's all letters. Now let's crack this safe now. Have a look inside. Another letter. Lord Harrison. Okay. Money. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Lord Collins. Suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. <coughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> Dr. Watson, what are you doing? Do, My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? 
My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You're going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. What's that? My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Let's study it more closely. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Hmm. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Oh, I just get this because this. I'm not going to try to do me games. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson? Oh, but... Oh, oh, dear God! You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible! I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. I'm going back as I was before. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been, Ben? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Yes, well, well, I'm going to go get changed quickly. to go I wonder so let's maybe talk about this then. Yes. 
Wow, there's a lot of information. <laughs> what happens going now? Tuberculosis. Never heard that. Let's go now, I'm lost. Right, so I'm up. Right, so I'm at Hurst's house. So where's my at home? So I'm back in the books now, so... Badges and medals. So Wolf Jack is half Wolf and half Jack Rabbit. It was used by Lovette Scout as a self... <laughs> no idea what that play is. I can't fucking read it at all. I can't fucking I can't read at all. Never been able to. Oh. Cranston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Also, you guys can like pause the video if you want to read all this. Because I'm not much of a reader. Let's say. Try to find the place from the hand drawn map. Hmm. So, where's the circle guy? Move it slowly now. That's like it. Here it is. Rat. I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to. They are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. <laughs> it would be so romantic. Uh, 
I'll be shocked. Completely response. That one. Caitlin, you know that Wiggins hasn't had the most fortunate life. That only makes him more interesting. Oh, Kate. I'll leave you alone now. Got another one. Investigation and then map. All come together slowly now. So no, that's why my tasks go to Evelyn first. Don't lag. Yep, you're lagging now. Just don't lag. <laughs> Let's back. see how long you can stay alive! Ah! Right. Oh. 
Oh god, that was absolutely annoying. Where is he? He was poor. This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. Find him, boys. Find him. Oh, bloody hell. Ah. Not again. Oh, my God. I'm getting close. They're actually getting very close at the moment. Oh, oh they're by my tail right now. Move, 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 move. Ah. <laughs> ah, 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 come on! You're a clumsy one, aren't you? Arms ah. 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 Screw this! Yep. Yeah. Bitch, please, what fuckers! Oh no, don't get off of me! Let me fun! Let me fun! I'm stuck in the wall. I have to do this. I like to call this the top of this Let me just shut up, mate. Let me just get some cover. You're shooting me. Fine. So we're going to take cover every time. And then we're going. Okay, got it now. Away from you, mate. I'm going slower. No, I'm going one way. I'm going this way. No. Oh, oh. oh my God. Well, wouldn't you get hurt, mate, if you got shot really back all time? I'll go that way now. I've got to go over there. Alright, let's go. Alright, go on now. Yes. I'm following your tracks. Uh, hunters. Oh my god, I've this is so not fun. Oh, 
God, it's Lord Harrington's body. He was killed by a shot to the forehead. My health is deteriorating. I need to dress my wound. Well, first, I need to get out of here. And what unusual spot to have a shack? What a place in the time. I can hide here. I can hide here. We hide then. I can hide here. I've got to adjust my room first. This will help to dress my wound. Quartermain Club. This must be Lord Marsh's cabin. Someone's coming, I better hide. This is absolutely bloody hot. Breathe, Lord Marsh. It's almost over. <laughs> Who are you? George Erst from the First Lovett Scouts, here to deliver justice. <laughs> That's <laughs> an George. old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you. But he can still be dangerous. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging you festering wretch. Prepare to meet your maker. That's one. Dead bodies. I have no idea what I've just done here, but I think I've got to press A or B. Uh, continue the investigation. For now. I'm going to leave that. Actually, no, I shall do it. I shouldn't have to do it actually. Um, I 
think A. A or X. Let's go X. X, yes. George, lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! My, my, an almost worthy opponent. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well-trusted friend. And now, it's time to end this. By all means. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But, if you allow Marsh to live, he will suffer a far greater punishment. For his ball and chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. Look, it's already dragging him painfully and slowly to his death. Then his wealth can and will be used to support the families affected by the Quartermain Club's malevolence. You're mad! You're both mad! Let's go and find Tom. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here, although not by the gun. You'll die slowly. Don't do this, George. Detective, take a look here. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. The beheading of your victims who were suffering from tuberculosis was what infected you. Poetic justice. Holmes, you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Just kill me now. Sorry, George. I'm sorry. I had to. I understand your view, Mr. Hurst. I really do, but I couldn't allow you to continue. Things out. He was gonna—he's gonna die anyway because of his disease. Where his father's gonna go to prison. He's gonna have no father either way. So, what was I supposed to do? Kill Lord Marsh? <sighs> I thought I just done the wrong thing there. I think. Wait, replay ending. All right. Yes, please. Replay ending. <laughs> I, I think I've—I've I've just done the wrong thing here. If I've played the whole thing again, I'm going to do it next episode. I think I've done the wrong play thing, I think. I panicked. <laughs> I literally panicked like who to kill. But he's already sick and dying already, so why give him a quick death? Then suffer before he's done. But it was the only thing about Thomas though. You know, his father would go to prison, but he'd still be alive, but Thomas would be an orphan. Either way. This is confusing. Why right, is it just... Right, it's just the confusion thing again. Right. Go with the other option now, go with A. It's gonna be a long episode, guys, so don't worry. <laughs> George, lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! Tom? My Tom? If I I'm, I'm sleeping all this. He is born. It will drag. You're not just yet. Don't do. Detective, take a look here. Well, I skipped up too far. I can go. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. Well, Holmes, given. you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Well, Just kill both me endings. now. I understand your view, Mr. Hurst. I really do, but I couldn't allow you to continue. Well, I've done both endings on that one. But it's the same thing though. 
Well, I'm going to end it here now, guys. So... I'm going to end it here to see what happens. Warning, you're about to finish the case. To save files, the case will be removed. Press no if you would like to select another mortal choice. Press yes if you agree. Press yes. Is that it? I don't know. I think that's it, I don't know. This is absolute. Oh god, that was a hard choice to pick. If I had to think about Tom, no. If I had to think about Tom. Um, what? Yes! Well done, Watson! Holmes, you're playing bowls? Indoors? Not just any old bowls, Watson. Lawn bowling. Seriously? With your injury? Oh, no. Mrs. Hudson is going to murder you. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Time to go. Would you care to join me? You're incorrigible. And where are we going, Holmes? I'm participating in the final stage of the annual tournament held by the London Archaeological Institute's Bowling Club. It's an official invitation. I'll just need to dress suitably and then we can leave. Oh, I'm just going to end it here now. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Press the like as well if you haven't been enjoying. Right then, done. I'll see you all in the next episode.